Bienvenidos a mi mundo. Ahora, a su casa. No juegues conmigo. ¿Y gratis? Eso sí es cool. There are moments in our lives that seem to define us. Choose their dare. Are you a virgin? I dare you to make out with Harden. I'm done playing this game. But isn't it really about what lies beyond those moments? What are you doing? I think you owe me a dare. Something about you. So, what's his story? Be careful. Harden is complicated. Something about you. What are you dreaming about? Something about you. For him was so simple, and now there's just after. Contacto humano. Necesitamos el contacto de aquellos a los que amamos tanto como el aire que respiramos. Nunca lo entendí hasta que no pude tenerlo. Esta es mi vida, fibrosis quística. Hola, Bart. Ay, Estela, quítame esa cosa de enfrente. <ríe> ¿Qué haría yo sin ti? Morirte. <ríe> si tienes FQ, no puedes acercarte a nadie a menos de dos metros porque puedes pescar sus bacterias. Me seguiste. Con la intención de presentarme. Soy Will Newman. Eres el tipo que no sigue las reglas para poder sentirte en control. ¿No es verdad? No es mentira. ¿Te crees ingenioso? ¿Te pareció ingenioso? No ¿Sabes la suerte que tienes de estar aquí? Nada nos va a salvar la vida. Respiramos aire prestado. La medicina no es opcional. Sí, por eso me la meten a la fuerza en la garganta. Haremos nuestros tratamientos juntos para asegurarnos que los estés haciendo. ¿Es un trato? Payaso. Primera vez que te gusta un chico y resulta que también tiene FQ. Solo le ayudé a organizar sus medicinas. Te conozco, Stella. Organizar sus medicinas es coqueteo. Siempre a dos metros de distancia. Ya conoce las reglas. Si te pesca su infección, no tendrás nuevos pulmones. Este tiempo he vivido para mis tratamientos en lugar de hacer mis tratamientos para poder vivir. Y yo quiero vivir. Después de todo lo que la FQ me ha robado, no me importa tratar de robar algo a cambio. 304 milímetros, 12 pulgadas, un pie. A dos metros de ti. ¿Estás de acuerdo? Dos metros de ti. Próximamente. What does America mean to you? Your removal is final. There's nothing you can do. I'm sorry. But this is my home. New York is my home. 13.8 billion years ago, the Big Bang created the stars, the planets, the galaxies. Compared to the lifespan of the universe, our lives begin and end in a single day. I'm Daniel. Natasha. We are the extraordinary. What's with the notebooks? Poems. Poems. What are they about? Wait, let me guess. Love. Not all of them. I don't believe in love. So no magic, no fate, no meant to be. What if I told you I could get you to fall in love with me? Just give me a day. An hour. What are your key ingredients to falling in love? My ingredients are friendship, chemistry, the X factor. What's the X factor? Don't worry, we've got it. You and I, all 
this isn't gonna make me change my mind, Mr. Plaid Thai. Did you just call me Pad Thai? Plaid Thai! My family's from Korea, not Thailand. Well, that is not what I said, so you can stop waiting for an apology. Oh, I'm waiting for something, but not for an apology. What are you so afraid of? Listen, I wasn't born here. What? My family is leaving tomorrow. This is real, and I know you feel it too. The choice we make. Would you come walking over? The path we choose. We don't have forever. All we have is a single day. wanted to date the most popular girl, drive the nicest car, and go to the fanciest school. Yale is the goal, correct? More than anything in the world. But I can't afford any of that. My uncle's paying me to escort my cousin to a semi-formal. I'll take your cousin. <laughs> what? I'll take your cousin to the dance. Why? What would you get out of it? I'd get the payment you were talking about, and I get to take your car. You got a suit? <laughs> You're getting paid to take a girl on a date. Did you know that Michelle Obama got paid to go on a date with Barack? And look how great that turned out. Is that true? I don't know. But it could be true. And that is my point. Big black boots on our feet. Uh, good evening. Let's do this so we can stop doing this. We don't care what you say. I happen to think that you and I can have a really good time tonight. You have clearly never been to my high school. Let's go shred some hardwood. No. Yes. No, no. Is this your job? No. Should be. Troubled rich girls in need of a chaperone. It could be big business here. I figured out how to get the money I need to go to Yale. I'm offering my services as a chaperone for whatever it is that girls want. Hey. Oh my god, you didn't. Oh, but I did. Every date would be custom built. They could pick my personality, my interest, whether I'm a listener or a talker. What's the weirdest thus far? I had to listen to this girl talk for four hours straight. All I was allowed to say was, there is no other way to see it. Oh my god, that is the perfect date. And there's no other way to see it. <laughs> Can you imagine if I get enough money to get into Yale and date Shelby? Hey. That'd be my dream come true. I'll tell you a story before it tells itself. You're just waiting for people to accept you instead of accepting yourself. You act so tough. It's just an act. We used to spend time together. But I guess you'd have your new rich friends. Whoa. I don't know which version of myself I'm supposed to be. Wow, she's a really bad dancer. Yeah, she's the worst. I've been so many people these past few months. A cowboy, an art connoisseur, and a bad friend. It's time to figure out who I am and what I want. What are some of your interests outside of school? Howdy. Usual teenage stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Phoebe. Hey. Hey. Hey, look, uh, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to, uh, to hang out. It's the last summer after high school ends. The last chance to decide who we want to be and who we want to be with. I give up. What are you supposed to wear to a breakup? How about we agree to stay friends? Just friends. OK, walk away. Oh, for God's sakes. This is going to be the summer. Just clean the slate. You know, you're really good. I can't believe you're wasting all this to study business. Right over a safe, stable career in the arts. <laughs> Boys, beach bonfire party. Are you down? Sure, yeah. No, come on, I'm not actually gonna go out with him. No, he's young, successful, and he's hot. Gross. 
So, what's the deal with you and Phoebes? We haven't talked about it yet. Keeping the mystery alive. I dig it, man. Sometimes I fear whether I'm even capable of love. Welcome to my office. You're making it very hard to judge you. Summer's just going by way too fast. I wanted to see you before we both leave for school. Hey! I gotta go, but um, have a nice fourth, okay? Phoebe, there's something I need to tell you. You just went along and you did nothing. I didn't know what to do. I've never been through this before. One last summer. The last chance to go all in. I mean, what's there to lose, right? Some strong prolonged eye contact, so we're gonna bounce. Yep. We were together nine years. I thought we could handle anything until I actually just got a job in San Francisco. I just don't feel like I'm ready to leave New York. Why did he leave you like that? He didn't even want to try. Why did he want to try? Look at you with your pretty teeth and shit. Thank you. You're beautiful. Am I? Come on, girl. I feel like we're before and after pictures right now. Who I gotta kill? You okay? Basically, I just really want you to call your place of work and tell them you have your period or something and then just come over my apartment. <clears throat> you know the beginning of a disaster movie, like right before the girl who looks like me dies and like right when a girl who looked like you walk outside and be like, oh my God, look how crazy the sky looks. This feels like that. I got boy problems as a human in me. I leave in a week, and then I turn 30, and then I die, probably. I need one last epic day with my girls. Yes. You could have had a bad bitch, not committal. Help you with your career, just a little. You're supposed to hold me down, but you're holding me back. I am deeply obsessed with us right now. I can't leave New York City like this. This is the end of an era. Everything's changing. I mean, we're out here taking risks. You have a girlfriend. Whatever. Kindly leave your heteronormative labels in a motherfucking box. Thank you. Making choices. Do you still have that boyfriend you hate? Who farted? Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, I was just goofing around. Yes. This just can't be where it ends. This is destiny. You are Beyonce. Jenny, we know you're texting him. Fuck! No, you can do it. I can see. I love you guys for real. So I draw back, baby, you just take all my love. Our best friend is out there drinking champagne from a bottle of green juice. I just want to scoop her up and make it all go away. Wait, it's the green juice mimosa. It's kind of genius. I feel better now. I'm gonna pick that up. Baby, you just take all my love.